Hello my friends, it has been quite some time since I have sat down to record an episode or anything for this YouTube channel and I'm very very delighted to be here today because I am announcing the release of my Amy apron sewing pattern. I am so very very excited to bring this out for you all to make yourselves. So grab your hot cuppa. I have a homemade chai here with lots of honey and almond milk and yumminess. So first before I talk about my new sewing pattern a little bit about what's been happening in my world, my part of the world. Um, well, there hasn't been a lot of knitting going on. There hasn't really been any sewing either, except for my business sewing. So I guess that's mainly the reason why there has not been a podcast for a while. But also life has just been so busy. I have only had enough time to record the videos that I record for Patreon. And editing is the part that takes the longest and I just don't have time for any more, which is why I will be winding up my Patreon as well. Uh, I just haven't had the time to keep up with what is expected over there. And I feel like this will open up the opportunity for me to post more on my channels. Uh, when I say that, I think I would be lucky to maybe have enough uh, content to film a podcast on here maybe once every month, if that. But perhaps with less editing, less videoing over on Patreon, I will be able to make more. I don't know. So as I said, I am winding up Patreon. This month is my last month on Patreon for now anyway, until I feel like I can pick it up again, but I'm definitely not going to be over there for the rest of this year. It has been such a joy to post very more personal and family um, videos over on Patreon. I have thoroughly enjoyed the community over there and I've made some really great friends over on Patreon. It is definitely a busy time of life. I found it much easier to make my clothes and sit and knit when my kids were younger. Now that they're older, their social lives are just so busy and I am taxi driver plus I have also started working outside of the home so that is taking me away from all my work that I do here on our homestead and my small business is a little bit quieter than usual which uh, I think most businesses are experiencing at the moment and I experience it because they experience it because my whole you know I've got wholesale um, customers so I've got other businesses that buy from me so things have been quiet and then the opportunity opened for me to work outside of the home and I'm thoroughly enjoying being a support worker for people with disability. It is very, very satisfying work uh, when you're helping someone who is in such need of assistance. And when I've had my spare time, I have chosen to be in the garden and with the animals on the homestead over making clothing and knitting and all that. I think it comes to a point where you have enough clothes and I'm really, really happy in what I've made for myself. I do have things that I need to knit or sew to fill gaps in not only my wardrobe, but my family members' wardrobes as well. So that does uh, spur me on to actually get making again. I have to knit some sweaters for winter and winter is very soon <laughs> down here in Australia. We are getting darker days and colder days and getting 
quite close to winter all the leaves are dropping from the trees it is getting quite crisp in the daytime let alone in the um, evenings uh, but we are having some beautiful sunny uh, warm weather actually we had a day yesterday it was 21 and that was really nice but it does cool off really fast once it gets to four o'clock it's just whew, put on your layers again and <laughs> off you go <laughs> inside to start the fire so let's chat about my new sewing pattern the Amy apron is named after my Nana. So I'm named after my Nana, but the spelling of my name is different to my Nana's name. Hence why the Amy apron is spelt A-I-M-E-E -E, and my name is A-M-Y. So that is who my pattern is named after. And that's where the different spelling of the name comes from. So I designed this pattern with my body in mind. So I designed it for my larger bust and I wanted the bib of the apron to actually cover my bust. So I've designed it with this gathered bust part here that really hugs your body and it just looks really lovely. I also absolutely love a scoop neck. I've always been a fan of boat neck and um, yeah just scooping across to the shoulders so I chose to go with this style of a neckline and I think it goes really nicely with the bib part of the apron. So I have designed this pattern to fit all body shapes. There are two sizes but you can mix and match the sizes as well. For example, I would always go for the size one in the bust. I think the size one is quite generous and it will fit quite um, a large bust. Size two would probably go well for someone who's maybe a size like a cup F or above or a size maybe 20 or even 22. I think a 20 could even fit into size one. So be prepared to have a little bit of a think about your body and how you want your apron to look and do a little bit of experimenting to get some scrap fabric and have a go at making the neckline and the bodice part in particular. These are the parts that you're going to want to get correct for how you want it to look. I've designed it with this wider waistband. It has loops for the big long straps. These long straps that crisscross over the back and you can make them as long as you want. I have made them nice and long in the pattern so that they could also come around and tie at the front if that's what you wanted to do. I've also gone for size one in the neckband. Size two is really for those who have much broader shoulders or if you're wanting a quite a lot like a, a wider neckband that comes out to the shoulders. It probably won't fit well on someone who has like a small sort of section up here like I do. I mean I've got quite broad shoulders but here is quite small so just have a think about that as well. The size two of the bodice is longer so I definitely need to go for size one because I have a short torso and longer legs so I prefer to go for the size one but you might choose size two and do the same width as size one but do the length of size two. And I explain all of this in my pattern in the tutorial video that I have made for the pattern. So make sure you watch all of that because whatever I'm missing out in this video here, it will be in the pattern over there. And then of course, there's the skirt. This is a size one skirt. And of course, on a smaller frame, it is gonna come around to the back. But for me, I'm wearing size one here and I have a wider waist 
than this mannequin here. So it's coming to here instead of coming all the way to the back. In the tutorial that I have made for the pattern, I made size two with the skirt and it came all the way around to the back for me. So if you are smaller in the top part like me and wanna go for size one, you might want to go for size two in the waistband and the skirt of the pattern. You can also play around with how long you want the straps to be. I recommend going with the length in the pattern, but you could also add more length to it and have some fun with that. So this pattern is quite versatile to fitting your body and I really want you to have fun with this pattern and find what works for you. It is relatively simple. I lay out all of the steps really clearly and I'm hoping that this helps those who are at a beginner level of sewing. Having said that, it is quite tricky. You're sandwiching in these pieces into this piece. You're doing a lot of long distance sewing. You're sewing all the way down the straps. There's a lot that is more complex. This is definitely not your first sewing project if you are just coming into sewing. So I'm sure you will have lots of questions because I'm sure I've forgotten some things to mention. This is a fun one that I started making. I'm gonna have pockets the same as this on the apron um, soon. She is gonna be up in my shop eventually and I will have more aprons up in my shop for those who do not sew. And I know that I've had lots of people asking for an actual physical apron to buy since I've been making these. I have been experimenting and making and perfecting this pattern for over a year now and I'm really happy with how it's come. I hope you enjoy making the Amy apron and making many of them like I have for myself. My testers have made an array of wonderful aprons in different fabrics that are amazing and I'm really excited to show you. I will pop some photos up here for you to see their lovely work. It has sparked me to look into my fabric stash and find some other fabrics to make aprons in and I can't wait to see all of your aprons. Please make sure you tag me in your posts and you use the hashtag Amy Apron sewing pattern in your <laughs> posts as well. I can't wait to see them. I can't wait to see more Amy Aprons out there in the world. Oh, it's so exciting. So it has been a wonderful journey making this sewing pattern for you all. And I'm so looking forward to the next sewing pattern I have in mind. I've been very much inspired by this apron, so watch out for that. Although at the rate I go, it'll be released in another year because <laughs> it takes a long time to perfect a sewing pattern and get it ready for the testers, let alone get it ready for releasing. A lot of work goes into making a sewing pattern, as you would know with making knitting patterns as well. A lot of work goes into it. So I really do appreciate all of your support. If you could share uh, my post over on Instagram or share this video, I kind of don't know how to share videos on YouTube, but if you could spread the word for me, that would really, really help me. I want to get the word out there as much as I can. And I'm also doing a little deal over on my website. I have this pattern and my pocket belt pattern. I'll put a picture up of my pocket belt pattern. I have a sort of two pack deal buying both the sewing patterns and you get it for less. So go and check that out. It is probably gonna be available till the end of the month. So I wish I could stay and sit and chat to you some more and show you what I have been knitting, but um, 
I need to go to work today so <laughs> I need to wind this up now and I will see you very soon for maybe a little podcast episode in the new month I think I probably won't get around to doing it this month because I'm winding up Patreon and I have quite got quite a bit of editing of videos to do for over there so cheers and thank you so much for supporting my work and being here and yeah as I said I really really appreciate you guys being here and helping me with my little business here and I can't wait for you to make an Amy apron I'm so excited <laughs> have fun have a lot of fun making it and I look forward to seeing your photos and videos and whatever of you wearing your apron thank you and see you again soon bye